there's this kind of technique that's arising that we feel is very important uh, in dealing with subjects that are sensitive or difficult and having people tell their own stories and letting, allowing these stories that are different and these lives that are different generationally, culturally, religiously to, to live side by side. After 9-11, post 9-11 world, it's quite obvious that religion is being used as a means of keeping people separate and dividing people and allowing violence to happen. I think the arts offer another way besides um, talking across a table or diplomacy to uh, allow people of different faiths and cultures to have a voice. There are people within this group that uh, some believe in God and some people don't believe in God. Some people, of course, have different names for God. How do we find, go beneath the surface of these differences and really find the places where we have something in common? The topic of faith is a very emotionally <laughs> charged topic that, um, and you know, intentionally bringing together an interfaith group um, is more challenging in that sense because there is so much tension and uh, emotional charge and conflict in the world based on the subject of faith. We really looked at it as, well, how do we create a space to bring people together who are going to have very different attitudes about their own spiritual practices and each other's practices. So we really were looking for people who had a positive attitude, who were interested in interfaith work, who were already pointing themselves towards how do we dialogue. Secondly, yeah, how do we create a, an atmosphere where um, everyone will be treated with complete respect? You know, we sort of lay that out from the very beginning that whatever your practice is, um, it is to be honored, you belong here. So I think we're trying to lay a foundation, first of all, of, of respect and openness um, before we get to the more challenging things. You know, where do we have struggles and difficulties with our own faith as well as other faiths. The sensitivity to uh, the faith of other people that you are ignorant in certain aspects that um, like if we deal with some let's say if we do some exercises that um, I have to be careful. I didn't think about this before but I'm learning um, to be sensitive to doing it in a different way that does not um, go against certain rules in certain uh, faith. So that's a challenge for me. Because as being a dancer uh, and then also working together and there's this trust issue, uh, the, the, we need to tr uh, learn how to trust each other and f both physically, mentally, spiritually. And so uh, physical, when, when you cannot touch or contact physically, there's certain limitation in trust. We have to work with, within the given, so we cannot get like perfect uh, trusting each other uh, environment. Because if you, you don't, this is my belief, you cannot do contact-wise with physical, uh, mentally you can't go there. So, but then that's okay. People don't get opportunity like this, uh, except in an artistic uh, workshop like this one. The benefit of this workshop is that I got to learn, I learned so many things about other religions. What we're trying to do is ignite these moments to happen where leaps of consciousness happen. And, and, it, and the more relaxed you are, the more open, the more safe environment, the more opportunity for this kind of uh, ignition or this inspiration or this spontaneous combustion 
can, can happen between human beings.